Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, here with another type of a parable from God. When you are pinned in, tied down, locked down, I mean you are caged, you can't figure out why. You can't bust a move. And it seems like while you're tied up in knots and everything is tied up around you and there's no help to be seen and everything's going wrong, you can't do anything about it. Whoa. And what's happening? You're on the losing end. What's up with that? Ain't you believing in God? Mm. Yeah, well, I got an answer to that. There are times when God is working on us. He loves us more than he wants to make us happy. He loves us. We were created in his love. We were beautifully and wonderfully made. Now listen, what you have to remember is God is more interested in our inner development, our growth, our healing, everything from within to without. We are more caught up in the without everything that's outside of us everything that's tangible reachable touchable valuable yeah that's what we get caught up in but god's value god's treasures his hidden treasures are what comes from within a man's heart so i say that to say this here's your picture you're looking at a baby now you, this baby, you tell him to do this, that, or the other. The baby's a little on the disobedient side. And you know you have to teach him discipline. And it seems like this one is a harder nut to crack than your other children. Your other children were a lot more pliable, obedient, and more cooperative. This one seems to have a mind of their own. And you have to protect them from themselves because they will do things that can put their own lives in jeopardy because they won't listen. And you're not telling them not to do this, that, or the other because you're trying to crash their party. You're not trying to be a killjoy. You're not trying to poop their life. You're trying to protect them because you love them. And you know that life will kick them in the teeth if you don't get that point across to them while they're young. Okay, so now you're working on development and you're working on discipline and protection and all that. So Christmas comes or their birthday comes and you've had a real difficult time with them during the season. And they insist on having certain things. And you try. You really, you're a loving parent. You love to see your kids happy. And you really want to see them get something that will make them excited. And this one too, even though this one is a big headache to you, you love them just the same. You don't love them any less than the others. So you go about trying to please. And you buy this. You buy that, you buy the other. And now they're happy because they've gotten everything they wanted. But then here comes that problem again. They keep doing what you told them not to do. And you're, you, you know, you're scratching your head trying to figure out how do I get the sense into this kid that he can really hurt himself. Somebody can get hurt with the liberties he takes with what I gave him. So one day he does something that puts one of your other children at danger or at risk. You see it. He can't because he's a kid. And you know the Bible says foolishness is bound in the heart of a kid. They can't see it. So now you go into protection mode. You gave them the gift. You bless them. You made them happy, but then you see they do they do something with the other gift that can really cause a dangerous situation, and you're saying to yourself, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, I've got to stop this. I gotta, I gotta lock this baby down. 
because I'm not going to lose my family and everything we've lived for because they won't listen. I'm not going to let them get themselves uh, injured and an uh, an irreversible injury that I can see could easily happen because they're going out of bounds with these gifts I gave them. So since they won't listen, since they won't obey, and since I love them so much, I'm going to have to take their toys away from them. I hate to do that. I really do. But I would hate to lose my child. So they're going to have to lose a little something, something for their own good. Not only do you have to take the toys away, now you got to ground them. So you tell your child for a whole two weeks, there's no television, there's no phone. Give me your cell phone. Give me this, give me that. You're grounded. And then you commence to collecting everything you gave them. And you stick it away somewhere where they cannot get to it. Well, what's happening with them? What's their reaction? They are crying. They are angry. They're having a hissy fit to beat the band. But they're on lockdown. They don't like it. But they're alive. They're well. And they're safe. And you like that. You're not doing it to be mean or cruel. You're doing it out of love. That's what God does in our lives. There are times God has to allow us to lose in order to win. Now, later on, you might give the toy back when that child shows more maturity, more obedience, more uh, safe decision making. You know, you might say, okay, you know, show me when you're ready and you get it back. But you're not ready now. You obviously cannot handle this blessing. Guess what? Many of us cannot handle The blessings we've been asking. Oh God, please give me this. Oh God, please give me a good husband or a good wife. Oh God, please bless me with this job. Oh God, I mean, and the list goes on and on and on and on and on. I want that. I want that. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. And you just go on and you, you, you get so full of your desires. But you're so out of touch with who you are. But God is very much in touch, isn't he? And there are times he tells you, no, not now. In some cases, not ever. In other cases, I'll tell you when. Like Psalms 32, I will lead you in the way you should go. Don't be like the mule. Don't be stubborn now. But in the Bible, in Psalms 32, God says, I will lead you in the way you should go. Now, after that, he goes on to describe how you better not be stubborn because, hey, I have to deal with you. Yeah. So you have to, you know, read that if you're wondering why some things come up short or why some things seem to be taken away from you. Why you can't keep something good. You may be mishandling it. Or you may be handling, mishandling the people involved in you having your blessing. And there are times God has to put you in the playpen, so to speak, where you have to stay all enclosed and confined. Because you are dangerous to yourself. And God must protect above all. So, I hope that helps you understand that what God does is through his love. When you lose, because of God, you still win. Because his wisdom is greater than ours. The Bible says, my ways are above your ways. And my thoughts, above your thoughts. 
You know, it's like saying, quit tripping. I know what I'm doing. You obviously don't. So know that whatever happens in your life, when you get frustrated and you're wondering, well, why did that get taken away? Why did I lose that? How, how can this happen to me? Why are my finances dwindling into thin air? What's happening? Well, sometimes, not all, sometimes God is shaping you Sometimes he's protecting you or others. And sometimes God is grounding you for your own good. God bless you as you trust in his love for you.